Hey there, welcome to Recreational Power Sports. We just love our propellers. Today we're gonna to talk about four blade versus my three blade lineup. When do I sell you a four bladed prop versus a three bladed prop? Well, basically as we talked about in, in the other videos, if you're getting your maximum RPM with a current three blade standstill prop and you wanna increase your thrust factor a little bit better or your, your pulling power a little bit better, um, that's when I have the power of the dock side of the four. No, that's when I have the power to at least uh, change you over from a three blade to a four blade. Now, when you're just bare, when you're more your three liter or your four threes and you know too big of a boat or too trying to push too much weight, I don't get the opportunity to switch it up from a, from a three blade to a four. If you're on a pontoon boat, then however, when I'm trying to push the Titanic, I generally go to the four blade like pretty darn quick. If I'm not going to this four blade on a tri tune, I'm going to a three blade, the OS prop. You see the size difference of these blades versus those, these other blades? The reason why I have to increase the surface area of the propeller blades with the three blade or the four, now we're talking three blade OS, the offshore. Mercury's got the same lineup going on too with their big huge inertial back here behind me. The biggest thing is here, is I'm trying to show you the size of the blades. The paddle, the paddle used to push the Titanic is a lot bigger than, than the one to push your normal runabout boat. The reason why is efficiency of the paddle to turn the, to push the weight. So the heavier it is, the more I need the motor to be able to manipulate the boat. Right now the boat's manipulating the motor. If it's just a little toothpick trying to push a big boat or paddle a big boat, it's not gonna happen. So the tools that we use of the trade is the bigger the boat, we try to compensate with either more guys canoeing for you, the more paddles in the water, bigger paddles in the water to give you better push. The heavier the weight we're pushing, the bigger the paddles. Uh, you see this a lot also with even the tournament ski boats. A lot of them are running big four-bladed props, brass props that are over like $1,000. Why? Because a tournament ski boat weighs 3,400 pounds, like just uh, starting it, let alone adding the people to it. So if you have a pontoon boat that weighs 2,200 pounds, and then you're adding people to it, just like a tournament ski boat, you need the bigger paddles to push. I mean, they don't even make this in aluminum for the tournament ski boat guys. They're right away going to brass or stainless steel, whereas in the normal recreational industry, they make aluminum. Well, the aluminum's great for normal recreational fun, but not when you're trying to push the Titanic or push anything big. It's just so inefficient. You think it's revving up and moving you, but all you're hearing is the motor spinning up and spinning, and you're paying the gas. You get the gas bill and go, boy, this thing costs a lot in gas. Well, if you ran a more efficient propeller, the proper propeller size diameter for the right application, you would be getting more efficiency, better burn out of your gas to push you better. So the four blade versus the OS three blade oversized versus a normal 14 and a quarter diameter prop, there is a huge application difference between them. And I would suggest you research that, check it out, give me a call, and we can talk about it. And it's a lot further, a lot more of a deeper conversation than just, you know, yeah. All right, just to recap, the difference between the three blade 17 and a four blade 17 would roughly be 200 RPM and two mile an hour. The four blade would be two mile an hour slower because there's always one propeller blade in the water at wide open throttle and be 200 RPM lower on your tachometer at wide open throttle. However, we're not buying the four bladed prop for wide open throttle, are we? We're buying the four bladed prop for in the quarter mile. In the quarter mile, I'm skiing, I say, go! And I wanna go, the three bladed prop is three guys canoeing. I want four guys canoeing. I want the pulling power to yank me out of the water to get me going fast and right now, or turnering, my, my cornering ability with a four bladed prop has always one blade in the water, less chance of cavitation, less chance of spinning out and stopping the whole boat, more pulling power with a four blade. So you gotta have the power to turn the fourth blade. Thanks for watching. Recreational